Welcome guys. In this video I'm going to put Ronaldo for one season in every top biggest team to see where he will do better. So first let's start with Arsenal because this was the closest team who wanted to sign up Ronaldo in his prime. Starting in Premier League Arsenal didn't very well finishing in 6th place in the table but Ronaldo did very good by scoring 22 goals. In the FA Cup they beat Tottenham to secure first trophy with Ronaldo also Ronaldo scored 2 goals in this competition. In Champions League they failed to beat Bayern Munich even with Ronaldo who is the only nightmare player for Bayern. Ronaldo also scored two goals in this competition this is surprising me. So statistics of Ronaldo with Arsenal. 26 goals in total and FA Cup trophy. Now let's move on to second team Tottenham let's see if Ronaldo can solve something in this team. Again they failed even to qualify for next season in Champions League something is serious with this club but Ronaldo did better than in Arsenal by scoring one goal more 23 at total. In the FA Cup they failed to beat Nottingham Forest in the third round of this competition, Ronaldo scored one goal in this competition. In Champions League Milan beat Tottenham in the round of 16 so the dream of winning something ends here, but Ronaldo didn't even make it to score one goal in this competition this is just scary. So in total statistics of Ronaldo with Tottenham, 24 goals with no trophy. Now let's move on in Serie A with AC Milan to see what can Ronaldo do here. The comeback of Ronaldo in Italy didn't start very well so in his first season with AC Milan ended in the sixth place in the table. But when we look at top scores it didn't surprise me Ronaldo even in this age scoring more than 20 goals this is just awesome. They also reached semi-finals in the Cup of Italy but unfortunately losing against Napoli, Ronaldo scored only one goal in this competition. In Champions League they meet Paris Saint-Germain but two teams were strong so the winner gets separated in penalty. Ronaldo scored only three goals in this competition. Statistics of Ronaldo with AC Milan was quite the same as previous teams by scoring in total 24 goals and no trophy let's see if this changes in the next teams. Imagine if Diego Simone watched this video seeing Cristiano Ronaldo playing for his team that we all know what Ronaldo did in the past to him. Let's start what Ronaldo can do in this team. In La Liga Atletico Madrid did very well by getting the second position in the table, six points behind FC Barcelona. Ronaldo also break finally the record by scoring more goals than in his previous teams at total 27 goals being the second in top scores. Atletico Madrid was nearly winning the Copa del Rey trophy unfortunately they lose 2-3 against Sevilla of Sergio Ramos and for sure Ronaldo was top scorer with 5 goals. In Champions League Atletico Madrid faced Manchester City the match was explosive but in the end Manchester with 1 goal more secure the quarter-finals. Ronaldo scored 3 goals by ending his season with Atletico Madrid in total of 35 goals and no trophy. Now it's time to transfer to biggest team in the world let's find out where Ronaldo will do better or he will get any bigger trophies like Champions League that he owns now 5. So first he wins the League 1 which in their last match they secured to lift the trophy in a very competitive league against Stade Rennes ending with the same points. But goal difference made Paris Saint-Germain the winner with Cristiano Ronaldo at the top of scores 23 goals. But in Cup of France Paris Saint-Germain failed to go through round of 16 by losing 2-3. Performance of Ronaldo is still good in this club he is still at top of scores with 3 goals even in this competition let's find out how he performs in Champions League. When I was thinking he is about to lift for the first team Champions League trophy for Paris in round of 16 they met Real Madrid and for sure this was not easy match even for Ronaldo who played about. 9 years in this club but the reason they call goal machine he scored 6 goals in 8 matches this was quite good. So in total Ronaldo for Paris Saint-Germain scored 32 goals and 1 trophy. It's time now to travel to Italy sending Ronaldo back in his previous team this transfer was an absolute best transfer that Juventus made ever since the club was created. Starting in Serie A, Ronaldo comeback made effects by winning the Serie A, a trophy I think since last time Ronaldo left Juventus they didn't even reach to be in top for in the table but when you have Ronaldo things change. He also scored with 16 goals in 38 matches he made a huge impact. In Coppa Italia also Juventus fall in round of 16 Ronaldo didn't score any goal in this competition. 
Ronaldo was not lucky again after meeting Real Madrid for second time in round of 16. Juventus did well in fist leg by winning 2-0 but in the Bernabeu Real Madrid made a comeback by scoring three goals and for sure who else except Ronaldo at the top of scores with eight goals. And we came to end for adventure of Ronaldo in Juventus who made a good impact by scoring 24 goals in total and winning the Serie A Cup. It's time now to send Ronaldo in biggest team in Germany Bayern Munich I really was excited to see what can Ronaldo do in this league. Let's find out by starting first winning for sure the Bundesliga this wasn't hard for Bayern even when you'll think you have Ronaldo in club this scares all others teams. Ronaldo made a huge impact for Bayern by scoring 24 goals I think Bayern made a huge mistake by not signing him when they had the chance. They also dominated DFB Pokal this was best season of Ronaldo until now by winning two trophies in a row also Ronaldo scored three goals in this competition. When I started thinking for sure this season is going to be for Bayern by winning all competitions they failed even to go through group stages, this just shocked me sometimes even the best fails. Ronaldo scored only three goals. And we came to end of adventure of Ronaldo in Bayern, in total he had the best season so far until now by scoring 30 goals and winning two trophies. Now it's time to send Ronaldo to the most needed team Chelsea, fans are happy to see this for sure let's see if Ronaldo can change something for this club. And for sure Ronaldo impact is for real they ended in the second place in the table after a huge battle against most dangerous team in Premier League Manchester City. Ronaldo also scored 25 goals this was a good start at all for Chelsea. In FA Cup Chelsea failed in round 5 by losing in penalty shootout. Ronaldo didn't score any goal in this competition, and now we are in the most prestigious competition Champions League this trophy Chelsea is missing about long time more than 12 years. But when I transferred Ronaldo in this club I thought for sure Ronaldo is going to do something special for this team. And for sure he did he send it Chelsea to final and winning after a long time against Atletico Madrid. And for sure who else would be top scorer if there is Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo proved again that he owns this competition for Chelsea, he scored 8 goals, and for sure this was best season of Ronaldo until now. So in total Ronaldo scored 33 goals and winning Champions League trophy. And now we are in the club that Ronaldo loved mostly who made history in this club who won everything, let's find out how would start his comeback, imagine if this would be real. So starting in La Liga Real Madrid dominated again by winning the trophy in a very competitive title race against rivals FC Barcelona. And for sure Cristiano Ronaldo did his best for his club by scoring 28 goals, this man is just a goal machine. After La Liga we move in Copa del Rey, Real Madrid failed to beat Sporting Gijón with results 2-1 in round of 32, Ronaldo scored only one goal in this competition. In Champions League also they failed against their biggest rivals FC Barcelona in quarter-finals by losing in a very close match 3-2. Performance of Ronaldo in this competition wasn't good enough to help Real Madrid to win their 15th Champions League trophy, Ronaldo scored only 4 goals in this season. So in total Ronaldo scored 33 goals for Real Madrid and he won La Liga trophy. When first I was thinking by making this video content, I thought when I will transfer Ronaldo to Manchester City this team would be really scary. And for sure they were on top of the table, but also this was really a close title race with Liverpool who had the same points, but goal difference picked up the winner. And for sure Ronaldo when he has Kevin De Bruyne in team is going to score goals, results tells us that Ronaldo scored 23 goals imagine more than Holland. In FA Cup they lose in round 5 against Bristol City 2-1, Ronaldo didn't score any goal in this competition. In Champions League Manchester City lifted the trophy for the second time since this club was created, in final they beat Paris Saint-Germain in a very difficult match. And for sure impact of Ronaldo with 8 goals made them kings of Europe. So in total Ronaldo scored 31 goals for Manchester City and winning the Premier League and Champions League. Which team impressed you the most? Comment your thoughts. Do you like this kind of content?